shit. Come on, little Harold. Let's move. No surprise. There seems to be something wrong with the filter station again. This thing loves getting me out of bed. At a filler station, Harold. Quicker. Run. Can't help it. It's just the way he runs. Almost there. Professor, not wake up. What's going on? Fuck, oh, disappeared. What is that? <gasps> Kill it before it lays eggs. Already dead. Who is it? Hope oh, it's not Felix. Go, on, Ned. Oh, it's not dead. Looks like Kermit the Frog. What's Kermit the Frog doing here? How did he get in there? There's something, Harold. Show someone. Do someone. Is he okay? It is breathing. We should be hesitant to ascribe deterministic gender terms to fishy here. Their race may not even have gender, biologically or culturally. Oh, sorry, yes. Sorry, fishy. It just feels unfair saying it. Perhaps when fishy wakes up, we'll be able to exchange theories about the formation of gender identity and its sociological impact. No doubt it would give us some fascinating insights into the anthropological and biological imperatives of their society. But is... Sure. Are they going to be okay? Let me see. Essential life signs seem stable. Surface moisture looks acceptable. Keep an eye on them. If they look to be drying out, give them a spritz. And what do we do next? Just let me think for a minute. Should I go get more help? Let's not be hasty about telling anyone else yet. There are all kinds of ways someone, namely Allwater, could get this all so very wrong. Makes sense. There would be so many questions. You'd never be able to concentrate. Exactly. All those things will get in the way of us taking good care of this. Yes. Yes, and when they wake up, it's all going to feel pretty scary. We'll do what we can do. We just need to keep them safe until I can finish conducting the tests. I mean... You know, health tests. What about keeping them secret in the storage room? I could keep the boxes in my room. Hmm. Yes. Proximity to the lab. Humid environment. No other access. Yes, that should be suitable. Good idea. Let's move them in there. Gosh. I'm no expert, but they look really poorly. Don't worry, Harold. You did well to bring them to me properly. They. They're in the right hands. 
Now, let me concentrate. Okay, I'll get to clearing up the storage room. There's only one there. How can I say they? Oh my god, I'm moving a small box. Run, Harold. Nice. Drop it on the floor. Get a bigger box, lazy sock. Oh my god. Another small one. And... Bleh. Another small box. The fuck? <laughs> Why is it... Why is it sideways? It's kind of cool. <laughs> Very strange. Bank. A little bit of Tetris. Not quite. That way. Yep. Down there. Yep, there you go. Perfect. And just on top of that guy. Yes. To the right. Okay. A bit more to the left. Oh, perfect. And myself. <laughs> Jesus. Seems like we put a lot more in than what there actually is in there. But, okay. I enjoyed the Tetris. The banana just fucking launched like a missile. Okay. Think I'm done with the box room. Wait. Let's move them in there. Harold, can you get that? Hold it up and put it on speakerphone for me. Will do. Enjoy your new home, Fishy. This is Maro. No, it's Cyrus. What? Cyrus? I'm Maro. Yes, I was trying to call you. You've succeeded, perhaps unfortunately. Yes, well, just for once, listen to what I have to say. I'm listening. Good. You sound faint, though. Am I on speakerphone? Yes, I don't have time to stand still every time you need me, Cyrus. What is it? So, Slippy is here. One moment I was all alone working on the hydrofusion coefficient machinations and thinking how interesting it was that... Sigh. I really do hate to interrupt you, but not as much as I hate not interrupting you. You were saying about Slippy? Yes, well, the next moment he was here. He's rootling around, asking me all kinds of questions I don't want to answer. Can't you come and, I don't know, scare him off? I'll see what I can do. Give me five minutes. Okay. See you soon, I guess. Thanks. What was that? Nothing. Bye. Hmm. Thanks. Harold, as you've heard, I've got to go and babysit. I've taken a blood sample from Fishy. Can you rush it to the pharmacy? Get it analyzed, then get some suitable transfusion based on the results. Can do. I'll go right away. Is it looking okay for now? Just fine. It's stable, and hopefully the results will help us with the missing pieces of this little fishy puzzle. I hope so. Thanks, Professor. Good luck. Rainbow fish. Deliver the blood sample. The water tube route to the utility district has now reopened. And perfectly on schedule, we might add. Why was it closed? Because you're the inefficient. The tube route to the social district has reopened. Please do not all try to go at once. Thank you for your understanding. To the social district. Destination decided. Enjoy the view. I shall. Wee.
You have arrived. Yep. Please exit the tube in an orderly manner. We hope you travel with us again soon. I shall. <laughs> All right, cool. And now presenting Yava Pelletier and her poem, Dark Silent Ship. Take it away, Yava. Ahem. <clears throat> Thank you, Mr. Tinnebaum. Ahem. <clears throat> What is the dark and silent ship? That being nowhere neither comes nor goes. That being never has no real time, of which we can only say that it flows. How is it that this empty data stream, this case shot... Hey, Chris. Ah, uh, Harold. Didn't know you were into this sort of thing. <laughs> Me either. But here I am. Well, what do you think? It's great. Very... Uh, moving. And they really look like they're having fun. Yes! I think it's an excellent expression of their young, curious minds. Sharing their hopes, dreams, and fears in expressive verses like this. It just warms my little toes to see. Aw. So, you have a favorite so far? All my students are equal in my eyes, Harold. Like they were my own children. Ah, uh, no, I meant a poem? Oh! <laughs> yes, well, truth be told, it's all Algarabia to me. What does that mean? Well, indeed. What does any of it mean? No, I mean... Never mind. Being here, put some clothes on, bro. Teaching kids in a robe is not great. Be the pharmacy. Just houses? Yes. Don't know you, sorry. Don't know you either. Sorry. I go in now. Maybe I can. Ah, Corporal Flounder. What am I going to do with you, eh? No one can ever know about you. You're a living, floundering breach of all the rules in the book. My book, I might add. Oh, the things I do for you. Anyway, chapter three, The Merry Band. It was a dark and stormy night when the four intrepid explorers left the fedora in search of the riches that would make their name. <laughs> Who's there? Oh, uh, hi, Major. It's me, Harold. What in the blue blazes are you doing here, boy? I'm sorry to interrupt. I was just passing, thought I heard... But then... Well, whatever you heard, or most definitely didn't hear, if you get my drift, is your invasion of my privacy. So perhaps we should just both forget this whole messy incident ever happened, hmm? Oh, yes. Of course, Major. I understand. Good. Let me write you a ticket as a reminder. Oh, okay. Very good. Now, if you'll excuse us, I mean, me. Hmm. Yeah. Got no balls, Harold. Could use that to an advantage. Whatever is found by the tides of my heart. Peace out, brothers. Too much poetry for me. Where are we going? Central station. Destination selected. Have a pleasant journey and a fantastic day. You may now exit the tube. Thank you on behalf of the All Water Corporation for choosing to travel with us today. We've got a message. I'm at the air. Uh... Got a game arcade. If anyone wants to play, I'll just hang out or whatever. All right. You destination determined. Now relax with all water. You're here. 
Thank you for choosing all water tubes. I must see. Oh no, Sunny's here. Hi, Sunny. Harold! Well, hello, it's been a while. So how's life after Sunny? What have you got for me? Oh, it's, uh, different. But okay. Uh, same old. Uh, just as you... Uh, j <laughs> and just this... Can you run an analy... I mean, an... An, an analysis. <laughs> same old Harold. Sure thing. Hand it over and I'll take it for a ride in the QD. Uh, the what now? The QT. The quick test, silly. Uh, yeah. So, you still uh, hanging out with your dad? Yeah, sometimes. Same old Cyrus, huh? Reckon the QT will be much longer? It only takes a minute. How long has it been? Like a few seconds at the most. Anyway, don't you have something you want to ask me? Um, okay. What have you been up to since then? Oh, I must stop you there, Harold. Looks like the cutie's all done. Let me just see... Oh, wow. Yeah, that's interesting. I'm sure it's nothing. Really, just... I'll be going. Hey, not so fast, Sunny Jim. This sample has definitely been taken from something odd, cool, or on a very radical cocktail of drugs. Spill the beans. I really can't. I have to get back. <laughs> to your new alien friend? What? No, <laughs> nothing like that. Just uh, an experimental fish. Cyrus. Cyrus made a new fish, but it lost some blood when uh, it accidentally got its fin trapped in a filter. Ah, uh, Dad is always so boring about hybridization theory. I don't even want to know. So... You need an aquatic craniate blood replacement, huh? Yes, exactly. It's a valuable specimen. And it was kind of my fault. I'm thinking a solution of granulocytes and sodium chloride rich plasma should do the trick. I think we've got some left in the cooler. Yep, here we go. Thank you, Sonny. No worries. Peace. Peace. <laughs> Never the blood sample. Glorified delivery man. Central station. Location nominated. Journey commencing. All water thanking you. Oh, welcome, O. Thank you for traveling with all water. All water. Moving people every day. We know you enjoy traveling with all water. You're welcome. Not really. I get very wet every time. Fuck knows if you're using a lot of power to dry my ass. Please remember, the all-water tube system will shortly be closing for the night. Get snug, not stranded. Okay. Thanks. Okay, let's get you rehydrated. Ah. Oh. Fishy, Sunny is so tiring. Why does she need to know everything? And why does she make it so hard to answer? I should just ignore her. Or make stuff up. Women love gossip. She's so clever, but she doesn't really listen anyway. Does she even care what I've been doing? I know. I'll bombard her with questions. She won't expect that. I'll ask her what she really found out after years of traveling. Or I'll ask her what she ever saw in me. Or I'll ask her whether she's finally impressed now that I've discovered a new species. Well, maybe not that. 
Anyway, enough about me. How are you doing? How are you finding that new blood? Too bad you can't tell me. But by tomorrow morning, we should know. Right. Time to get some sleep. Night, Fishy. Fishy. A fishy on a little dishy. I'm not saying it'd be tasty, but it might taste like day. Skittles. I can't believe this is happening. And to me. Tomorrow, I'll get those antibiotics and I won't let Sonny get to me. Yeah. Right. Night, night, Harold. Night, fishy. Come on, Harold, the helicopter. You're out in the gear. Oh, Senor Fishy. Hello again, my alien fish bud. Let's see how you're doing. Uh oh. Not so good, huh? You're starting to run a temperature. Maybe the solution was wrong, or something is infected, or maybe you need some special kind of fishy food. I'm guessing the stuff Cyrus makes isn't going to work on you. If this temperature keeps up, I'm going to need to... Drat. That means another trip to see Sunny and her questions. I promise you, I won't get so flustered by her this time, though. Stay calm, Harold. It's just Sunny. You don't have to worry about impressing her anymore. You see, Fishy? I'm okay, aren't I? You're a good listener. Maybe that's why. I wonder if you can hear me. Not that you'd understand me. Maybe the sound of my voice is calming. Or terrifying. Oh god, I hope I'm not freaking you out and you can't tell me to stop. Twitch if I'm freaking you out! Okay, good. Uh, off I go. I don't think it's going to say much when he's in a coma. All water compliments you on your choice of destination. Unsatisfactory journey for some reason. Just contact your nearest uh, and all water will make it up to you. Hey, Sonny. Um, Sonny? I need some antibiotics. Uh, what for? Me? Oh, yes, your strange life form. How's the condition of it? Has it undergone any unexpected metamorphosis? Uh, um, not that I've noticed. It really is just a fish, and... Displays of aposmatism? Not lately? Sonny, I don't have long. C can you please just... I'm not just supposed to hand these out, you know. I know, but the professor, and it has a fever. Hmm, well, take these. They should reduce temperatures and fever symptoms. And I hope you get better soon. Not that you should be taking fish medication. I appreciate it. So, what are you reading? Oh, this? It's the new novel from Montmorency Spangler from the Physical Expression District. 
It's an allegorical treatise on the Fedoran post-scarcity politics. Is it good? You know, it's better than his last one. Oh, Harold, we should start a book club. Um, maybe? Anyway, I'd better get back. Yes, yes, do keep me posted, Harold. For old time's sake. Thanks, Sonny. I will. Oh, won't. Maybe. Probably not. Destination chosen. We hope you enjoy your all water tube system journey. <laughs> You've arrived. Have you checked your pockets before leaving? Destination decided. Enjoy the view. You have arrived. Please exit the tube in an orderly manner. I always do. Travel with us again soon. I have no choice. I live in here. Take my money, bitches. Where's my little fishy? Damn the frog had some skittles. And now he's a rainbow. Hi, fishy. Hi. I've got something for that temperature of yours. Okay, thanks. Sticky situation you're in, huh? Very. Let's hope these do the trick. Oh, yeah. You might be an alien, but how different can you be? Very. Can't be as different as me and Sonny. <laughs> At least I managed to ask her a question or two this time. And I don't think she suspects that you're in anything more than a strange experiment of Cyrus that I've somehow got involved with. I guess the fact that she doesn't trust me to do anything too exciting has come in handy for once. I'll check on you soon, pal. Where to next, Harold? Legit. Meet Zoya at the arcade. Now, let's see, Bridget. Hey, Harold, Bridget here. There's a little something I don't quite have for the energy floor. I'm positive you can help me with. Okie dokie. Go see Bridget. You may now exit the tube. Thank you on behalf of the All Water Corporation for choosing to travel without <laughs> Stupid bloody machine. Oh. Right, hello. I'm sure you two will figure it out together. Play nice. Ah, oh, Harold, what are you doing here? Just walking by. What's up? I was just leaving Slippy and Cyrus to get on with things. Shouldn't you be looking after Fishy? I'm doing. Hey, look after Fishy. You're the professor. Can you go backwards? Thanks for swinging by, Harold. You remember the drill? Yep. What's the test we're doing this time? It's basically the same procedure as last time, but we're adding two new variables that Cyrus suggested in the hopes they'll have a positive influence on the bacteria's energy output. Great. What were Cyrus's variables? Playing music to them and giving them some sugar. Before you say anything, I know, I know, but Cyrus has measured both as having positive effects on his herbs, so why not, eh? <laughs> this bacteria is lucky to get so many treats. Yes, well, I'm not sure they have much awareness of enjoyment, but fingers crossed. Oh, before I forget, there are two new buttons on the console. Got it. Ready when you are. Press the more buttons. If I can get out of the door. 
Okay, start preparing everything like last time. We'll start with the sugar test. Chop it, coat it, and then put some sugar on it. I'll let you know once I'm ready. Okay. The red? Nice one. Now, on to the next step. Now. Great. Choppy, choppy. Time to coat the sample. Now the sugar. Great. Now for the next one, this time with music. Okay. So we're not doing both at the same time. Okay, great. On to the next step. Now. Great. Time to coat the sample. Okay, boob. Now turn the music on. Yes, ma'am. I did the thing. Knew I could count on you, Harold. We're all done. I am so now. smart. Join me back in the control room and let's have a look at the results. Squirt. I can say so giant. Okay, are we all done? Yes, thank you so much, Harold. I mean, neither classical music or sugar or talking softly to the bacteria for Cyrus's plant-based advice helped its mitosis ratio, but it still helped me narrow down a few variables and factors. Ah, good. Glad I could help. You know, Harry, you've helped me a lot recently. Let me treat you to dinner. Oh, it's okay. I just try to be helpful. No, I insist. How about some nice fusion food at that new place? Well... It would be nice to eat somewhere other than the fish, fish, fish hut for once. Okay, it's settled. I'll meet you there tomorrow evening. I'll ping you in exact time later. Great. Thanks, Bridget. See you then. Well, got a date with Bridget. Where to? Got to sleep. Yeah, a quick day. Destination determined. Now, relax with all water. You're here. Thank you for choosing all water tubes. I wonder if fish is awake. God, Rainbow. Good evening, everyone. Please remember, the all water tube system will shortly be closing for the night. Get snug, not stranded. How's that fishy doing? You good, bro? How are you holding up, champ? Ah, same old, same old, you say? Well, hang in there. Anyway, good night. I'll be back to check on you in the morning. Don't go anywhere before then. Okay. Rainbow Kermit. Who knew? I'm just late, Harold. <sighs> what a day. Poor fishy. They'll pull through, though. I know it. But does Sunny suspect? Probably not. She's too wrapped up in her own world and whatever crazy new idea she's reading about next. I'm cruising for a snoozing. 